Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so let's find our comfortable seat. And this is going to be an hour and a half with a, a 15 minute um, break at the end for us to have our tea and to relax and chat for a while. So Hopefully you have your tea ready. Bring your support. So this is your heart bed and it can be made out of anything, but I think today everyone has a, a bolster. So snuggle the, the cushion right into lower back and then unfurl. And then once you, you feel supported, close your eyes and start to move around and rock. Have the knees bent. And you can press into the feet and lift and lower the pelvis so that you can really nestle in the lower spine. And so this is our full moon practice and you can consider for a moment that the moon is inside of you. And then there's also this radiating quality, an auric field outside of us. And then way out is the, is the moon energy. So we're so much a part of this, this never ending rhythm. And so let that never ending rhythm be your stability during your practice, throughout the moments, throughout the days and weeks and months. This never ending rhythm, this moon energy that's always there for us. Maybe internally we can say something in the effect of thank you to the moon. I intend on living and loving myself just a little more. I plan to shine all these rays like a heartfelt solar flare outward to yourself where the moon is at the heart expanding and radiating our auric field for the community and the world, that moon that's out there feeding us all. Allow that to grow each breath. And so notice now with the eyes closed, how the body is feeling. Is it warm? Can you feel a brightness on the inside? Is there any dull ache? Notice how you feel. And then dive a little deeper now into the breath. And notice how full the breath feels as you inhale through the nose, filling the lungs from the bottom, the middle, the top, underneath the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, notice how heavy that area of the outer rib cage, 
through the shoulders, the arms. Follow the rhythm, the wave of the breath all the way in. And let that wash over you. As the breath gently ripples in, filling up the bottom, the middle, the top, you feel it expand. And as you exhale, notice the heaviness sink in. This conscious breath now, fully awake. The knees can remain bent or you can lengthen through one leg at a time and allow the legs to splay. So let's come into alignment breath now. So feeling that energetic quality like the moon, this glow, a sphere of energy right above the crown. Notice how it blazes and burns so brightly, just beaming that light. And then down below the feet, an earth star with this beautiful glow. So two cleansing breaths. Let's go ahead and take that next inhale all the way in and up through the nose, a light little pause filled. And then exhale it all out. And one more just like that. Feel and sense the breath fill you right up, a light little pause, and then exhale it all out. That next inhale through the nose, go ahead and guide your awareness downward to that earth star. Feel that glow. As you exhale, feel your awareness gently wave up into the brightness. Alignment through the breath now, all the way through. Inhaling downward through all the energy centers of the body. Exhaling all the way up. Feel the rhythm. Notice how this energy can spread. The energy centers start to spin and move. In all directions, front, back, side to side. Exhaling, feeling your awareness gently move upward. Inhaling all the way down. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Two more just like that. Inhaling nice and full and deep as you guide your awareness down. Gather all that earthiness as you exhale all the way up. And then one more here. Inhale. And as you exhale, follow that exhale. Allow yourself to rest here.
go ahead and take the right hand over the heart center and place it on the left shoulder thereabouts. Might be the fingertips close to that left shoulder. You might cradle the left shoulder more. And then take that shoulder up into the hand and then press it downward if the hand can. And if not, if the hand is on the heart center, feel the chest muscles. Notice how the shoulder is moving up and down. So maybe one more time, that sh left shoulder comes upward, maybe into the hand, maybe not. As that shoulder comes down, leave it down, take the right hand down and feel now from shoulder to shoulder and notice how they are draping. Are they similar? Take one more breath just like that and we'll take the left hand over to the right shoulder. So other side. Again, let that right shoulder come upward to any height that feels good. You might press it down with the fingers or it might just come down with gravity. Notice how the shoulder can move like this, upward and downward. And then one more just like that. Let the arms rest by your side and feel from shoulder to shoulder for a moment here as you breathe deeply, fully aligned. Notice the shoulders, the sensation. And then go ahead and take the fingers, interlace them, send the palms outward and upward. Thumbs can press away. Bend one elbow towards one side, towards the floor. On your next natural breath, let it circle like the moon all the way over to the other side, rounding downward from side to side circle. Trace that roundness and notice how the shoulders are moving in the circular motion now. There's no right or wrong. This circle might be a little smaller for some, a little slower. And then what's the other direction like? Then with the hands right up, undo the fingers and just allow them to move circular around the wrist in an unefforted, easy way. Nice and limp and then slowly, slowly let them come downward like we're moving through wet clay, slow, super slow down to the floor. Once they come to the floor, roll the palms up, knuckles heavy, and feel from the fingertips to the elbows, to the shoulders. Take a deep breath right there. And then exhale it all out. Then go ahead and bend up at one knee. Drag the heel. Press into that foot and then the other. Drag your hips to one side and let yourself come up. We're going to come for a body scan, but I want you to leave your props in your heart bed intact. So if you can come beside your props, better. So come right beside your props 
and come flat so that we can scan our body. And then we don't have to make our heart bed again. <laughs> I'm just looking after you. I don't want you doing too much housework here. Go ahead and lengthen through the legs. Give the toes a little wriggle. Knuckles heavy. Shoulders heavy. Eyes are closed as you witness now from the inside out. The toes to the heels. And if we were laying in the snow, almost ready to do a snow angel here, what would be heavy in that snow and what would be light? Right from the heels to the calf, to the upper thigh, to the sit bones, to the mid spine, to the shoulders. Give the back of the head a light little rock It'll be coming a little deeper into the snow. This glistening. This reflective light within us, all around us. And then relax and soften. Take that internal snapshot, your starting point. And then one more breath just like that. And go ahead and bend up one knee at a time. Feel the feet on the floor. Drag your hips over to one side and let yourself roll to the other. Press yourself up and come on over to your heart bed. You might even pull it down towards you. So we'll come into our, our passive pigeon pose. So nice and easy. There's a somatic um, touch to this one. So we can leave the legs like they are, or you can get right into the pose right off the bat, some of you. The leg that's closest to the bolster, that foot can nestle right into the back thigh, right into the arch maybe for some. And then frame your hands right on one side of the bolster and one on the other. Look down and it'll feel like you're looking right into the center of your bolster. Take a deep inhale, feel the elbows, and then feel the magnetic pull towards each other. Bend, tap the nose, and then press up. And as you press up, Feel the thumb and the first finger. Press into that more. Notice the inner arm all the way to the armpit. Each time you tap the nose here, notice a little taller maybe, a little longer the torso. The next time you come down, temple, ear, Allow that to rest right into the bolster. And as you rest right there into the bolster, the arms can come out by your side with the elbows by your side. So they can be like a cactus shape so that they're like weights. And this is where the, you can set up the lower half, where the upper leg can come into the arch of that lower foot, the leg that's closest to the bolster, that foot. And just notice how that is for you. Take a few deep breaths, feeling the heart center sink and soften right into your support. The jaw will slacken a little more.
We'll give a little squeeze and release of the lower half. So go ahead and take the thigh into that foot. The foot will offer some resistance and then relax that effort. Feel the baby toe edge of that foot. Let it press down into the floor and then relax. The next one, bring that all together. Baby toe edge press down, back thigh into the foot, and then soften. And then see if you can do that all in one. Baby toe presses, back thigh comes in, and then relax. Whole body rests and relaxes here. You can keep this exactly what like it is, breathing into the sides of the rib cage where you think the kidneys live. Let it expand out each wave of breath. The nose can stay in this direction or for a handful of breaths on your next breath, you can come up and bring the head over to the other side, maybe. So allow yourself to feel that for a moment, maybe, for some of you. And for some of us, it, does, it might not feel good at all. We're careful not to fling back out of that pose. So on your next breath, you just simply come back. Beautiful. And one more breath, just like that. On your next natural breath, go ahead and drag the hands underneath the shoulders. Feel the elbows come inward and let yourself come up. Take your back to the bolster and lengthen luxuriously, slowly the legs. Like they're made out of wet clay, just smooth them out. Maybe the knees, a little circular motion. You can paddle the feet. And then we'll come on over to the other side. So go ahead and bring yourself right over to the other side. Whatever that looks like for you. Maybe you set yourself up with the leg that's closest to the bolster, the foot ready for that back thigh, plant the hands on either side of the bolster, feel the elbows come out and then snug them in, bend and tap the nose. Each time, maybe a little taller. And then let yourself rest one ear, temple, the arms come out to the side with the elbows like weights. Beautiful. Relax and soften here. You can go ahead and set the bottom half up if you'd like. The leg that's closest to the bolster that foot will hang out on the floor. The baby toe edge is on the floor and that back upper thigh just comes and nestles in. Any which way that feels good there. Notice how the rib cage can move with the breath. Like a massage to the kidneys 
that whole back body. The belly might press into the bolster. So you can feel that wave, these rhythms. Just like the moon, that never ending rhythm. And then when you're ready, you can give a light little press of the back thigh into the foot and then relax that effort. And again, the back thigh can come into that foot. And then you can relax and soften. Awareness on the next one on the baby toe edge. Feel the little press, the thigh comes in. And then you relax and soften a broadening and a widening of the pelvis. The whole body starts to widen. And maybe one more baby toe edge presses, thigh comes in, and then you relax and you soften here. Give yourself permission to stay right here, relaxing, breathing, and letting go, knowing there's no end to how much we can release. Or on your next breath, if you'd like to invite the upper cervical spine of the neck, go ahead and lift, bring the nose over to the other side, rest the temple, ear, cheek on that side. If it feels delicious, stay there. Or on your next breath, you can slowly come back or any time that you like, slowly come back. A handful of breaths here. As you observe, let the body absorb now all of this goodness. As you relax a little more through the jaw, the shoulders, the back body, to the hips, the legs and the soles of the feet. Beautiful. And one more breath, just like that. Then go ahead now and drag the hands right underneath the shoulders. Let yourself come up. And we're going to come into a body scan, but we're going to need our bolster. So just move them over to the side. Come on to your back. Come nice and flat now. And feel any subtle shifts. Just noticing how your body is feeling now. After a beautiful twist in that lower spine, it was a full body integrative move, but the targeted area, the pelvis, the lower lumbar sacral area. Noticing that area all the way through the legs to the toes, let them wriggle from the pelvis all the way up to the shoulders. Notice how they drape down as one a little heavier than the other. A little rock to the back of the skull here. Take another breath here as you dive deeply through the brow to where you think the center of the brain lives. Let yourself rest there.
Notice the colors, the shimmery, glistening, reflective glow right there. Maybe there's some sounds for you. Let it unravel, unwind. And one more breath, just like that. Then you can go ahead and bend up one knee at a time, drag the hips over to one side, and we're going to come up. So you'll need your bolster. This is one where you can have either your blanket rolled up. So we're going to come into our back bend twist. And you'll want your pillow about a foot away from the bolster. So this pillow can be two blocks butted right up so they're nice and long. Or you can have whatever you'd like there. Then you take your bolster right into your, your hip and then come down on your forearm so that you have a little room between your bolster and your arm. Lengthen through that lower arm. Bring your head down into your pillow so that that lower arm can rest. And just feel what that's like for you. Notice if that shoulder can sink down. Then look where you're at and make sure that you're at the front of the bolster so that when you roll, you have somewhere to roll onto. Bring the top hand into the bottom hand and close those beautiful eyes. And just notice this shape as you gently rock forward and back and encourage that lower hip to start coming down, down as we're in this half moon shape now of the spine. Then from here, let the top hand slowly come upward towards the ceiling. And then pause when it's stacked over the shoulder. So we're in no hurry here. And then from here, twist it one way, like you're tightening a lid, and then twist it the other way so that the arm fibers start to twist. Beautiful. Stay there for as long as you like or start to circle like the full moon now. We're circling around the shoulder, feeling and sensing into your rib cage, noticing all the subtleties of this round circular movement. Two or three, one way, and then notice what it's like to go the other direction. Does it feel good to have a big, large circle? Or is it better for you to keep it smaller or maybe semi-circling? Notice the sounds of fluidity and the smoothness of this movement. And then let that hand rest in the bottom hand now. Feel the top sh shoulder, the architecture, like an hourglass to the bottom shoulder. And notice what you feel. Is there a warmth, a change in temperature? And then go ahead now and feel the head, let it roll from the ear to the back of the head. The top hand will drag on that lower arm. Let yourself come to the back of the head, maybe to the other side. And the arm comes outward in a twist. Then let the head roll back. The arm will find its way back, dragging across the body. 
You might even come onto the forehead and outreach that bottom fingers. You can stay in this variation for as many times as you'd like. You might pause in that wide wing twist. It's like a back bend twist. And if that feels delicious, you can take that outer arm up above the crown and let it drape there and spend a few breaths feeling and sensing. And you might want to arc it all the way up towards the ceiling as you roll from one side to the other. Like we're painting now the moon. And all of these shades of glowing, glistening. Just a handful more breaths here. Notice the fluidity in your body. Does it feel easy tonight to move like this? Slowly, smoothly. Does it feel like something that you could do forever? Or is stillness calling your name? Whatever it is, just a few more breaths here. And then take that deep inhale. Enjoy filling right up wherever you are. And as you exhale, pour yourself into this shape just a little more. Then let yourself come all the way back to the start. From here, you'll press yourself up. Come onto your belly so that your rib cage is hanging out on the bolster. And your pubic bone is on the floor so that your sides of your pelvis are down. So if it's too much of a back bend, you'll take your blanket, unfold it, and bring it right underneath the pelvis. So your elbows are on the floor, on the other side of your, your bolster. Bring your palms together and let your forehead come down and rest in the thumbs so that you can feel a little pressure right between the brow that feeds right into the center of the brain. Breathe into that area. The legs can be nice and wide. a little wider than your mat, more like noble seal. So we're not asking anything of the muscles up and down the spinal column. Let them relax and soften. Feel the compression in the belly and the expansion as you inhale of the rib cage each exhale becoming a little heavier as you drape just a little more in this shape. The muscles will loosen their grip. You can even intense, 
intentionally turn them on by pressing into the tops of the feet, squeezing the glutes, the tush muscles, and then relax and soften intentionally. Feel it all switch off. And then one more breath, just like that. And we'll come right over to the other side by dragging the one leg up and then the other, almost like fetal position. So that it feels like the lower back is rounding now. And we'll come right over to the other side. Take your time setting up. You'll need a little space between so that foot, about a foot or the length of your block. Then bring your arm, your elbow down and make sure you have room between your arm and the bolster so that when you lengthen it, that shoulder can sink all the way down eventually to the floor. And then close those beautiful eyes, let your head rest and the top hand rest into the bottom hand. Rock and roll forward and back so that you can encourage that lower hip to sink down towards the floor. And then visualize your spine in this shape, this beautiful arc, a half moon shape. On your next natural breath, let that top hand float up towards the ceiling. Fingers all the way towards the ceiling. And then you twist one way, like you're tightening a lid and loosening a lid. And then the other way. As you ring out like this, notice the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder and how they move in this rounding, the circular way. And then start to circle the whole entire arm in one direction, maybe spiraling outward a little larger of a circle. Notice the sensation in you. Maybe it just feels good. Know that pain is not an option. So maybe semicircle towards that. If you have any discomfort, stay away from it. And then what's the other direction like? And then go ahead and let that hand come down into the bottom hand. Feel the top shoulder. Notice like that hourglass pouring down and sharing in the sensation as it offers that lower shoulder a little of this nourishment here. Feel where the head is on your pillow and let it start to roll to the back of the skull. Leave that top arm and let it drag across the lower, maybe to the shoulder. Feel where the head is and see if it can drag to the other side as you drag that hand over the heart center and allow it to unfurl into a twist, a back bend twist. And let the head initiate the movement tonight as it starts to come back home. You bend at that elbow, drag it across the chest and all the way down that lower arm to the forehead and outreach. Know that you can stay in this variation for the whole entire time. It might feel delicious.
If it feels super yummy to pause here and there, please do. And explore while you do so. So if it feels like heaven on earth to have the arms out like a T, then you can leave them there. If you'd like one arm to come all the way up above the crown, that top arm, let it drape and feel into the sensation. Let the breath move that sensation and feed it. You can softly paint that beautiful full moon all around you. All the shades of gray and illuminating whites and this energetic quality of the moon all around you. Arcing it and feeling. Just a few more breaths here. Let yourself relax just a little bit more here. The start of this pose might feel very different now that you've moved into that amazing soft tissue that starts to become elastic-like, fluid-like. So one more breath here. On your next natural breath, go ahead and take that top hand into the bottom hand and observe with the eyes closed the whole entire body in this shape. Then press into the floor, let yourself come up, take the bolster out, and come right to your back and observe now through a body scan the subtle shifts that have taken place. Notice all the details. Let the toes have a little wriggle. Maybe you sway the toes from side to side. And as you relax, feel from the heels through the legs. Notice the fullness of the legs, the sensation, where you're heavy and where you feel light. To the pelvis, right from the top through to the floor. The lower back the rib cage, all the way to the shoulders, the arms to the fingertips, all the way now a little rock to the back of the skull. Feel the rounding of the skull as you do so. And then relax that effort. Feel where you're resting on the floor all the way to the center of the brain. Take a deep breath right there. And a ha. Then go ahead and bend up at both knees. Drag the hips over to one side and let yourself just roll over to the other side. We're gonna rest here on our side, coming into side crunch. So we come into side crunch um, 
in the cat stretch series. It's beautiful for your spinal column to move like a cat and cow when you're on your side. So I want you to feel into that relationship of the spinal column moving up and down as we move the hip away from this upper shoulder and then it comes towards. So go ahead now and reach that top arm up, coil it around the crown, hang on to the bottom ear and hold the head up while you take that bottom arm out. And then the knuckles are your new pillow. So you might need a blanket here. If you need a blanket underneath your knuckles, then go ahead and grab one. Top foot can hang out into that bottom here, just for a brief moment. Then when you take your next inhale, reach that top elbow up and that top hip down. Feel that lengthening and then you relax. Two more times like that. You'll inhale, lengthen that top elbow up, top hip down. Notice the spinal column lifts and then you relax and it lowers. Let's do that one more time. Lengthen as you inhale, as you exhale, relax. And then give this inner knees a little squeeze. Let the top ankle float and then lower. Inner knees stay connected, float the top ankle upward and then downward. Once you have the gist of it, your eyes are closed. Feel and notice which muscles of the pelvis, the hip, the lower back, and then relax, we'll bring that all together now. Take a deep inhale and lengthen, hip away from shoulder. As you exhale, lift and lift that top ankle. So you lift the head and feel. Slowly you come down with the breath, maybe as you inhale, you lengthen, and as you exhale, you lift. The head, feel the connection of the elbow towards the heel, like a full moon. Inhale the arcing of the spine up. As you lift, the spine stamps down. And so that's why I brought this in our full moon practice, was the, the moon shapes that we make with our spinal column. And as we rise up, the spinal column presses down. So maybe one more, lengthen, lengthen, inhale, exhale, lift. And then from here, go ahead and roll onto your backs, nice and playfully. Just let yourself flop into the floor. Let the toes have a little wriggle again. Knuckles heavy. Take a breath and notice the full body. This time, take that highlighter up the midline of the navel center and the side that was on the top, notice from the toes through that leg, through the pelvis and the belly, the heart center to the shoulder. And then all the way down the other side, feeling from the shoulder, rib cage, pelvis, and the whole leg from side to side, just noticing and feeling and sensing, are they similar? Can you feel them speaking to each other in a hum? That frequency, maybe you can hear it on the inside. And how about one more breath, just like that. Ah, 
Ha. So the other side is patiently waiting. So we'll go ahead and bend up one knee at a time. Drag the hips over to one side, roll to the other. Use your lower arm as your pillow. Take that top arm up, reach it up from the elbow up, and then coil it around the crown, touch that bottom ear and let that bottom arm come outward. Knuckles are your new pillow. We can bring it all together if you'd like. So just a, um, feeling this shape. So take a deep inhale and allow the elbow to move away from that top hip. As you exhale, squeeze the inner knees, lift the head, and lift that top ankle. You can downward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press the inner knees. Lift the top ankle. Lift the head, maybe to a new angle and height. So know that you don't have to stay on the same path. And you never have to lift that head too high. Maybe you just have um, the muscles contract. So you just feel like you're almost going to lift it and you stay there. So how about one more just like this? And then relax onto your backs. Feel and sense that side, noticing what you feel. Can you feel that tingling, that glistening? That moon energy inside of us. Like solar flares sometimes for some of us. And sometimes it feels like it's a, a nice slow burn, like a glow. We might even feel heavy. And one more breath, just like that. Then go ahead and bend up at the knees. This next one, we're going to need our strap. So if you need to get up and grab your strap please do. Um, we'll need our strap. Or if you have a um, piece of cloth, a scarf, anything will do for this. We just need it for to lasso our foot. And we'll be bringing our pelvis up. So you can use your bolster, a block, or the art of folding your blanket. You can fold it once or twice so that it's about the height of, of your block. So wherever you are, go ahead and come with the strap beside you and your block beside you or your blanket or your bolster. Lots of options there. And that's why it's called a practice because we get to do them all eventually. <laughs> so go ahead and bend up at your knees, have your arms down by your side. You can even take your strap and un undo it all the way over your belly so we know where it is. If you're using your yoga block and it's super light, you can bring that onto your belly too. Arms by your side, palms down. Take a deep inhale. As you find that exhale, both shoulders, the back of the shoulders, let them come downward. Feel the heart center rise and hold that. Press through the arms to the fingertips and hold that press. Now press through the heel, big toe, baby toe, and let the pelvis gently rise. Take the block right underneath the sacrum. 
the back of the pelvis. And then you might even pull the blanket there. So it'll be right behind the back of your pelvis. Maybe you have an encyclopedia that feels good. Perfect thickness. And then give the head a, a light little rock from side to side. The hands here can be on the belly. Let yourself relax. Notice when the head is rocking like this, that's starting to walk upward on that ladder. This feels like it's growing. And you might even hear some pops and sounds as it starts to lengthen, coming out of any fusion, any compaction right there. Maybe the chin is coming in closer to the heart center. Perfect. Then pause. Notice this shape. Belly over heart, heart over sinuses. Then from here, go ahead and let your right leg come upward. Take your strap now and lasso that foot. Take the strap out so that you can have it on right below the toes so that it's on that arch right below the uh, toe mounds. So there's a nice half moon shape right there. From here, take the strap in between your thumb and the first finger and smooth it out until the elbows come to the floor. Widen through the fingers and wrap them in the strap. Bend that top knee, roll to the baby toe edge, and then lengthen through that knee. And then bend that top knee and press through the big toe mound. Two or three, just like that. You bend the knee, and then we roll to one side of the foot. A nice generous bend to the other side of the foot. Feel with the eyes closed what this feels like in your body. And maybe one more for good luck. Oh, and then from here, we'll come into just a light little sway. So almost like a branch swaying, let the leg come out. You're holding the reins. So let the arms do most of the work. Our legs do so much for us. So let the leg and the hip relax as it comes out. That bent knee, let it come outward to the baby toe edge. And then guide that top leg up, super slow, over that midline, and the bent knee can come behind. So eyes closed, feeling the arms guide through the strap, outward like a sway, and then over that midline. Notice a sensation in your body. Does it feel smooth in the hip as it rolls in that hip socket? As you come over that midline, can you feel the outer leg all the way into the knee, the back of the knee maybe? option when that leg comes up to bring it in a circular motion so you can slowly bring it through the strap upward towards the nose over to the other side let it drop down 
and around. So guide it in a circular motion. Nice and slow. There's no hurry. Take your time. Feeling unhurried and unrushed here. And then the other direction. Circle it around the fullness of the moon. And then bring that leg all the way to the stacking quality. Undo the hands and reach up towards the foot. Bring the other foot in and let it take its place. Take the other foot out, but leave it up. So the inner knees are connected thereabouts. And you press into those inner knees. You see, feel a magnetic pull. Bend that right knee and bring it to the floor, full foot on the floor. Reach the fingers up towards that other foot now, your left. And flick the fingers, move the fingers, like you're, you're putting a magic spell onto that foot. And then go ahead and smooth out the strap between the thumb and that first finger. Let the elbows tap. Lengthen through the fingers and roll them in the strap. Get a nice uh, grip and then let the elbows be heavy. Bend the top knee, roll to the baby toe edge and then lengthen. A generous bend in the knee and then to the other edge of the foot. Feel the knee and let it bend. Notice how that hinge can move like this without gravity. A little bend of the knee. You roll the foot into the strap and then you lengthen, bend, and then lengthen. Come into your sway when you'd like. Let the leg come outward. Know that the bent knee can come outward on the baby toe edge of that foot. And then you can guide that leg all the way up and over that midline. Coming outward. And inward. Notice the sensations on this side. Are they similar? Is there a big contrast? Nice. And then you can come in a circular motion now. Let that leg circle around. Maybe this side, it feels like it's gotten the memo. Might feel easy. Or maybe this side, one way feels a little bit easier. So what's the other direction like? And then hit the pause button. Let that leg come all the way to the stacking quality. Ankle over knee, knee over hip. Take one hand behind it. The strap can come right off to your side. And give that thigh a little hug into the belly. Let the other one come up for a little hug. Thighs into the belly. One foot comes down to the floor and then the other. Palms down, arms along your side body. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, let the back of the shoulders find the floor and hold. 
Length of the arms, press to the fingertips, hold. Heel, big toe, baby toe presses, hold. Hover over what you've had under there for support and take it out. Right out. Feel the back body and then roll from the top of the spine hitting the floor, mid spine, and then lower spine all the way down. Bring your bolster underneath your legs, your blanket as a blanket. Anything over your eyes. Coming into our nidra, meaning yogic sleep. So let yourself get good and comfortable now. This is called Deep Gratitude Nidra. Let's start by feeling into these remarkable, incredible bodies. Float your awareness into your toes. Thank you, feet, for taking us here and there. For our grounding, steady balance in each step. Pour your gratitude into the lower leg. The warmth of the breath feeds and nurtures this soft tissue of the calf, of the shin, as the muscles loosen their grip. They start to unwind. Take a few deep breaths. Feel that kindness directed right at the lower leg. Dive deep into the knees and send that appreciation of this architecture that supports, infused in, with radiating healing of our awareness now. Feel from the center outward in all directions as it starts to expand. Rise up and pour your awareness into the thigh. Feel the rhythm of your breath as it starts to soften from the top of the thigh all the way through. The legs filled with that pulse, pulsating rhythmic vibrations of love through your breath. Take your time as you feel into the heaviness, the fullness. A brightening starts to ripple. Slowly float you, your awareness upwards into the sanctuary of the pelvis, the sacrum. Four to five fused bones unique to you a broadening and a widening. You spend this valuable time bowing to the sacredness of this holy bone. Let it become heavy now. Slowly drift into the belly. Notice the ebb and the flow a gentle massage of the digestion cradled in the warmth. Your awareness seeps into the back body where you think the kidneys live. As you breathe, this fluidity seeps in and they steep into that relaxation as they replenish. Send a little love into the liver as the breath's rhythm calms. 
Now the heart beats to the rhythm of a deep relaxation as the lungs fill and empty. Send a sweet gaze to the throat, the throat area of the thyroid. It has nothing to regulate here. It starts to recuperate and rest. A big bow of thanks to all the organs, all the systems of the body. Your awareness floats down into the spinal column now. Whether it travels to the left or to the right is of no concern. Always lovingly, with great strength, has the privilege to hold you up nice and tall. Send some warmth of thanks to bathe this area as you sweep your attention up and down. Our soft attention gently floats higher yet into the brain. Feel those feelings of ease and support. Each breath we appreciate and soften a little more. Travel to the center and rest right there. And now, like a tube of toothpaste, you're gonna squeeze from the bottom. The toes will give a little squeeze. The legs will squeeze. All the muscles will come inward, squeezing all the way up into the belly. Squeeze all the way down the arms. The hands will squeeze the shoulders. The facial tissues will squeeze. You'll squeeze, 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 and then relax from the top to the bottom and notice this rest, a feeling, a widening. Let yourself rest here. Feel like you're open like the sky to all the rays of the moon. For when we let go of everything, what's left is love. Let the moon's energy now wash over you and make your intention felt. Allow the breath to deepen. Awareness to float up as you connect to that inner grin, that inner Mona Lisa smile, the corners of your mouth might curl up. Feel that warmth flood in. Any small movements that feel good, please do. Long stretch, a hugging in a little roll from side to side. Rest on one side. Pat yourself on the back for showing up. Feel that gift towards yourself. When you're ready, press yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Use all the warmth around you. The knees don't have to bend. Bring your palms together in deep appreciation for yourself for showing up. Thumbs at the heart center. Feel that support. Breathe into it. And a light little bow as we pour all of this loving kindness out beyond these walls. Namaste.
and thank you for your practice.